Broadcasting live from the Coors Light Studios in Boise. Who are you? We are. We are. KQXR. Payette. Boise. 100.3. VX. Rock. And welcome to the 7 o'clock hour. And today's a fun day Friday. And welcome to the top 5 at 7. Being a fun day Friday, I figured what would be cooler than someone coming in and taking over the top 5 at 7? Uh, two dudes who could obviously rip off somebody's head while doing it. I would like you, Treasure Valley, to help me welcome Idaho Wrestle Club's finest, um, for my understanding at least, because my knowledge of the wrestle world is minimal, but I know that these dudes are top-tier badasses. Please welcome Garibay and the uh, outlaw himself. Randy, how's it going today, guys? It's going fabulous. I'm doing pretty good, but Adam. Yes, yes. It's Rusty. Rusty, I'm, I'm sorry, Rusty. You can Rusty. just call me outlaw for short. Uh, I, I can. Uh, thank you guys for joining me today. And uh, again, like I said, I, I don't know a whole lot about the wrestling world. So I brought you in today to uh, inform me about all of the things that is to wrestle, to man mode. And you said you'd only do it if I gave you a top five at seven. Well, there's, uh, there's always a deal to be broken, so... You're breaking us in right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys think uh, you have a pretty solid top five. We'll talk about some of the events that you guys have coming up here in just a little bit. But let's jump into the music, shall we? We're starting out song number five, some Three Days Grace. Garibay, this was your song, right? Why'd you pick this one? I picked this one out for uh, Pride of Olympus because without wrestling, you can't have pain. And you can't have pain without love. And we'd rather feel pain than nothing at all. Number five is Pain True by Three story. Days Grace. It's here on the X. Three Days Grace with Pain here. Song number five of our top five at seven. For Idaho's Wrestle Club, uh, Garibay, you've got another song lined up. Song number four, if I'm not mistaken, is from Pantera. Lay the, lay the information on that one, if you could. Yes, sir. For every wrestler, every time you step in the ring, you better have respect for your opponent. It's still a code of honor. And this song reminds me of Halter and Scout because I had no, got nothing but respect. Number four is Walk by Pantera. <laughs> Song number four of our top five and seven for Idaho Wrestle Club. It's Pantera's Walks, picked by the lost soul Garibay himself, who's apparently the good guy. I didn't know there was good and bad sides to this coin, so we'll jump over. Song number three, the outlaw Randy, Mr. Randy. I don't even know what to call you anymore. Uh, so what did you pick for song number three? Oh, Adam, you're about as frustrating as chocolate ice cream. But I, I got to tell you cream. what, whether you're at a concert or at a wrestle club show, every time the outlaw comes in, you're going to put your hands up by Texas Hippie Coalition right here on 100.3. The X rocks. Texas Hippie Coalition, hands up, song number three of our top five at seven. You had better be keeping track of these so you can win some tickets here in just a little bit. I am joined by Idaho's Wrestle Club, and uh, song number two is going to be picked out by the outlaw Roscoe P. Coltrane oh, himself. What? No, you, you, you little toothpick, get it right. I am the outlaw Rusty Livings. I will hop over this console and break you in half and use you to pick the food right out of my teeth. Get it right. Say it, outlaw. Say it, outlaw. Outlaw. Rusty. Rusty. Livings. Livings. Can you do your job and just announce the next song, Mr. Uh, Scary Man? Ah, uh, I don't care who, I don't care when, and I don't care where. Anybody who stands in my way, I could care less. I also chose this song, basically because tonight this band is in town, and they're over there, and I'm over here, and this is my number one favorite of all time, I Could Care Less, by Devil Driver. It's here on the X, I'm scared. Song number two of the top five at seven, Devil Driver, I Could Care Less. They are also here in town tonight. Hopefully you got yourself a pair of tickets. Once again, for the final time, I am joined by Idaho's Wrestle Club, Lost Soul Garibay, and the outlaw Randy Rusty Robo Doo Doo. Rusty Living's Adam, get it right. Oh, I gotta get it right. <sighs> okay, so let's just get this over with. I've got one song left, and uh, Garibay, go ahead and uh, fill everybody in on what the final song for top five is. 100.3 The X, Wrestle Club starting an empty mile. And it found souls that were far away Full of dreams but too blind to see And once we woke up we took baby steps And now Wrestle Club is taking footsteps And we're only going to get higher and higher Number one is Footsteps by Pop Evil It's here on 100.3 The X Rocks oh, I take these footsteps Go higher, higher 
And higher and higher and higher. It's fo- yes, Pop yes, Evil yes. Footsteps here on 100.3 The X Rocks. And how's it going, man? My name is Adam, and there it is, your top five at seven for today. It's Idaho Wrestle Club's top five at seven, and they are here with me. I'm going to give you the rundown for uh, those free tickets. Three Days Grace, Pain, Pantera's Walk, Texas Hippie Coalition at song number three with Hands Up, Devil Driver showed up, I Could Care Less at song number two, and of course, Pop Evil's Footsteps at number one. Garibay and Rusty. How are we, gentlemen? Now that we're done with the music, uh, give us a little taste of you know who you are, uh, maybe a signature move, and what we're doing here today. Well, uh, let me tell you, my heartbeat is pumping, and what we're here to do today is introduce Wrestle Club, the first and only professional wrestling organization in the state of Idaho. That's my right. My name is Alonso Garibay, and I want to ask everybody out there, when is your time to flatline? Oh, take it easy. Come on, take it easy. I am the outlaw, Rusty Livings. Mm-hmm. Get it right, Spasm. Rusty or Livings. I will jump over that console. I already warned you once. Spasm, okay, continue. That's right. Okay, so, you little toothpick. Do we have like an event coming up? Like what what is going on? Absolutely we got events coming up. May 1st at 3 p.m. at the Hispanic Cultural Center in Nampa, Idaho. Wrestle Club invades La Invasion. Okay. Now I'm going to be going up against, I'm going to be defeating, I should say, Ultimo Axiom Panketo in his lucha mask and his clown hair. And I'll be taking on Marcus Anderson. People call him the king, but I see no royalty in him at all. And so where can people check this out? Like, are you guys doing it for a certain cause, or we just get together on, like, Saturdays and beat the crap out of each other? Well, it obviously depends on each and every weekend, but this week in particular, it's El Dia de los Niños, means it's the day for the kids. So it's going to be a free event, Hispanic Cultural Center. Be there. That's right, you better be there. So what's cool about it is, well, yes, we're, you know, throwing chairs and, and elbows and all that. We're doing it for a good reason, too, man. You, you know, for the kids. And I've seen you guys have done stuff for Special Olympics, stuff like that. Uh, what is it that really gets you guys going? What do you love about being part of Wrestle Club? You know, I am the outlaw, and I am what my name is. But I love seeing the faces on all those fans when I stand up above my opponent and put my hands in the air and listen to them boo and listen to them throw their words at me. And I just absorb it and get bigger and better every time. Just like when I stood above Brad Zane after breaking his neck with my outlaw DDT. Oh, so that would make this uh, phone call that I got earlier in the week what? much more apparent. You said you what? broke some dude's neck? Yes, all absolutely. Right. Uh, uh, the X, hello. Hey, is this Adam of the X? Uh, uh, yes, this is. And who is this? Hey, Adam, this this is Brad Jane. I'm part of the Wrestle Club. Oh, so you're like friends with these guys. What can I do for you? I haven't heard a nasty little rumor. Maybe you can clarify it for me, buddy. Yeah, go ahead. What uh, what rumor can I help you with, Mr. Zane? I heard that you got the outlaw Rusty Living showing up on the top five. Is that true? Oh, uh, yeah, he's right here. You probably would have heard if you were listening. Yeah, I did listen. And I'm not too pleased. Oh, so maybe you guys aren't friends because I thought this was pretty cool. Outlaw, I got a message for you, buddy. Go for it. The last time we met, you tried to take my neck. But I'm like, you know right now, I'm worse than the T-1000. The more parts you break, the more they'll heal. And the harder I get back at you, buddy. Okay, so I'll give the outlaw a chance to respond here in a second. But is there a way we could just, like, reconcile this quickly before things get out of control? Yeah, outlaw. I'm going to let you know now, buddy. You being on the X has tainted the show to me. Oh, shots fired! Thankfully, Mr. Adam, as well as the lost old Garibay, have washed away that taint. It honestly doesn't smell that bad in here, does it? Yeah, either way, thank you so much for calling, Mr. Zane. Anything else you need to get off your chest? The only thing that they need to hear is that Lost Soul, your match at Law Invasion at the Nampa Civic Center against King Marcus Anderson. Don't worry about that being unfair. You know his boy will be there, but I've got your back, and I'll make sure to take him out for you. Well, thank you so much, Zane. We really appreciate that. Uh, uh, Outlaw, you want to uh, respond real quick? And I don't even uh, know what to do here. How, how embarrassing, Adam. I got to apologize to you. This guy, Brad Zane, is seriously like your girlfriend's little cousin with Tourette syndrome that likes to make prank calls. What a broken record okay oh oh you broke my neck I'm like a T whatever I could I could I could regenerate give me a break really oh no I gave you a break Brad Zane or did you forget why don't you scratch your neck warmer and think more about your taint okay buddy whenever you're ready come and get me like I said earlier I could care less I'm tired of thinking about the past you're just pulling at my coattails at this point buddy okay uh, is that all? I, again, I don't know when to cut you off. You guys are amazing. You can keep talking forever with these monologues, man. Oh, you know, with somebody like that, it's 
It's hard to stop talking. But like I said, I'm an outlaw. I'm a man of control. And I've got a plan and a game plan. And talking about Brad Zane and wasting my breath on this guy on his couch wiping his Cheeto fingers over his stained white beater shirt <laughs> is not something I want to spend my time doing. This is easily the most fun I have ever had on a top five at seven. Garibay, any last minute thoughts, requests, and where can we see all this action go down at? Yes, I just want to uh, point out there, uh, Wrestle Club, everybody on that roster, I want to let you know that each and every day you guys are making a difference, and we have made a difference. We are the first and only professional wrestling organization in the state of Idaho, and there is nobody that can take that away from you. And on May 1st, go ahead and bring it, because I know I'm going to bring it, and it is on. Well, thank you guys so much. I'm scared. Like, I don't know what to do other than, like, curl up and cry. Uh, Garibay. I'll protect you. Outlaw. You got one more thing to say real quick? I sure do. Find the Wrestle Club on Facebook, Idaho Wrestle Club. Make sure you give our page a like. Come to our show. Take pictures. Take videos. Take evidence. And share it. Share it to your friends, your grandma, your cousins, your uncles, and your grandpa. They're going to want to see it, and they're going to want to come to the show. And just real quick, can one of you guys hit the other one with a chair and or an inanimate object of some sort? Speaking of which, Adam, I need to teach you something. Oh. I need to teach you how to chop. Okay, go ahead. Why don't you just, why don't you just show me? Because I'm, I'm a weak-willed individual. So, so go ahead. This, this this is how it sounds. Uh -oh. This is the sound of madness, uh, shine down. Huh? Oh, oh, he just hit him with chest a chair. What is? Oh my God! Well, thank you, gentlemen, so much. I will call the ambulance for you, uh, Mr. Outlaw. And again, thank you guys so much. We'll see you You'll here get in your seat, Thank you. <laughs> we'll get back into the music, my friends. Some Volbeat, Lincoln Park. It's next here on the X. So Bleeding Crown, it's here on 100.3 The X Rocks. My name is Adam, and it's time to go oh, home for hey, me, dude. dude um, what is going on today? I, I came in, and you were like, we have this little area. You were like in the fetal position screaming. What the hell happened while I was Oh, you here? didn't see the two muscular dudes who look like they could rip off anyone's throat? Like, dude, I had Wrestle Club in here. It was awesome and moderately terrifying at the same time. I could never look like that. Okay, well, since they're not here anymore, I can get away with this. Yeah, they may look big to you, but I'm woodsy. Get over it. Yeah. I understand you could like maybe take them for like 15 seconds Probably. before your asthma kicks in and yeah. you need your inhaler. But uh, no, that was cool, man. I've never had a top five takeover. I just... I heard it. It was cool. I'm not like... I'm not a big wrestle guy. It's something I miss. You know, like some people don't skateboard. I was never a wrestler because of my physique. Right. So. Yeah, yeah. Well, and they don't make leotards in your, your size, so... Do they? I think they do. They have to. Well, maybe girls once, but... Listen, uh, I would wear a pink one with a tutu on it if that man I got to like, I'm drop guessing, some bombs. I'm guessing that dude that called in, though, that must be what he's doing at home. What... what Zane or Zane, whiny yeah, Zane or what? Like I don't, I don't know who he is, but come on, have the balls to come into the studio. Yeah, I'm no, just saying. I don't, I don't disagree. Uh, maybe there's some politics behind it, but I had a hell of a time. You know what? You want to take over top five at seven? The door is now open. No, Shit. no, dude, it's yours. It is, no, it's no, I don't your, mean you. I just oh, mean Treasure oh, Valley. Oh, those guys, yeah, I'm Treasure Valley. Like Idaho Ballet, you better be in here next week. I'm Pure wedding. <laughs> exactly. Coming he? up, we got Beartooth. Uh, is your cage match champion from oh. live? Beartooth kicked the crap out of Gajira. That's not legal. You can't do that. Uh, it happened. All right, man. And you've got a chance of some extra tickets, and um, you may, in fact, have information as to who won Rock on the Range. Right? I may have that information. And then, uh, of course, it's my short night tonight, so we're partying with Fear Factory at the Revolution tonight. Oh, and I get to go just sit at home and stare at a wall. Can I come party, too? Yeah. Sweet. Do you have to wear the tutu? Sure. Damn it. All right. Okay, just since you're going to whine like Zane, no, you don't have to wear the tutu. Yes, victory is mine. All right, man, that's going to do it for me. Remember who you are. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. And if you do, just name it after me. Woods and Next here on The X. Adam cries like a bitch. For 31 years.